welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, you guys. Today, I'd like to talk about the Long Island serial killer. It's in the news now because he's been charged with the fourth killing, one that uh, they were trying to uh, nail down, basically. Uh, a lot of the bodies, many of you probably already know, but I'm just going to go through it here. He used burner phones. He used online sex sites. Most of it was um, through, what was it? It was through, blah, 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 blah. here's my notes here. It was online escorts from Craigslist. Yes, Craigslist. Anyways, a um, lot of women. Wife's hair was found in one bag nylon bag or you know like a burlap that he used um his wife is now estranged um what else can i say uh, so anyways he he was obsessed with his own case um he looked for 14 months he searched himself 200 times the case trying to figure out what they were up to why wasn't he caught why aren't they tracing the calls these are the types of things he plugged into google uh, he was obsessed with uh, the R word, the T word, torture, and child P. I'm just going to put it that way so that I'm not um, in trouble with YouTube. So I'm just going to use that. You just can figure that out. And he liked to search his victims' families as well as their siblings. He wanted to keep track of the families to see how well they were doing. That is something that, that's real common is to chase you know, chase and see what he's done. It, it's kind of like, um, it's a form of getting duper's delight and reliving it and enjoying it. It's a real sick sadism there. Uh, he was really into, you know, the torture aspect. So anyways, um, burner phones, audio counts, uh, photos, crazy autopsy stuff. He went by the name of Andy. Oh God. He used my, he, but he went by A and D Y to get these people to solicit. Um, anyways, he was an architect. Um, he was married, two children. One of his children, uh, the daughter Victoria, worked uh, for his firm as an architect. She's listed on the website, or was. Um, the son has special needs. They were all buried in this marshy, desolate area in Gilgo Beach, Long Island. And they were all about 500 feet from each other. Their names were Amber Costella, Melissa Bartholomew, and Megan Water Waterman. And also Maureen Bragmard Barnes. That's the one that they needed to nail them on, and they finally did. So that's that. And another little interesting tidbit, I'm going through my notes here is that Trump actually hired him as an architect once. That came out, too, in the news. Uh, to renovate an office space on Wall Street. It was a mi minor partition and plumbing, and it was a $200,000 job. Yeah. And um, he's trying to maintain his innocence. And since day one, he's been you know, saying he's innocent, and he looks forward to uh, the court case. So he's going to get some fuel, 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 fuel. Um, his wife did visit him. His wife, Aza, A-S-A. Um, that's his second wife. He had one prior to that. Um, the daughter, yeah, they're, the da the children are living a nightmare. They cry themselves to sleep. That You know, it's been a while now. I'm sure they're kind of used to this new norm. So this isn't new. The arrest happened a while ago, but things are just kind of upticking right now. So uh, the nightmares of not sleeping and crying themselves asleep hopefully is behind them. Uh, so let's get some cards on this guy. He has very cold, icy cold stare with um, very narrow pupils. Um, he definitely has an air of, um, how do you say this, a, a, a contemptuous, very contemptuous hate in his eyes uh, is what I feel. Um, and just, just, it's just that creepy vibe right in his eyeballs. And so, yeah, being a professional, you guys, he was a total professional. So there's currently, what is it? I had the number two and how many are current now in New York? Serial killers in New York is the highest number of serial killers. If you didn't know that. And this was, this happened in Manhattan area. 
Uh, there's 11 current ones or that they're, they're trying to figure out and they have eight that are currently active, very active serial killers. So that's some scary information there. So let's get some cards on uh, what's going to happen with him, what's going to unfold, what's going to unfold. Let's get some cards. This is entertainment purposes. So please do your own research and use your own logic. But let's have a little fun and see what the cards have to say. I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to do this. Whoa, there, that one's out. Upright, that one's out. I'll take it. It is a Four of Cups upright. So four of cups upright. He has no he has no emotional investment in anybody. He's very cold, aloof, indifferent. He's kind of a perfectionist. Uh, basically, self isolation. He's holed up right now in self isolation. This is kind of a very isolating card, and so nothing is good enough. Person, I'd say that's kind of why he did it. It's probably out of boredom. He actually is uh, quite uninterested in people. So there's kind of this uh, last lack of emotional investment and being kind of aloof. Um, that, that person has an attachment disorder. So he definitely has an attachment disorder. Um, and so there you go. Um, I'm going to get to the bottom of the deck. He wanted to get smug pleasures. He wanted to feel alive again. He wanted to feel like, get some satisfaction. Probably to ease his... This is here a card of feeling rejected, you know. So this is also a feeling of rejection. So I'm rejected. I'm going to reject you and nothing's good enough. I'll wait for something really perfect. And he wanted smug pleasure. So this is a very detached individual who wanted to feel alive again. And that made him feel alive. But he feels nothing for anybody. Whatever he had was not good enough at home. And so that's why he did it. He did it mainly when they were out of town. Uh, and they were searching the property, thinking maybe there was something there. They were definitely searching for his tokens and his trophies that they like to keep. Uh, so they were definitely searching for tokens. Yes, the feelings, the feelings, the focal point, excuse me, the focal point here is seven of cups upright. So he thought that he could have his choices and whatever he want. So basically it was an option. It was an option he chose. It was an emotional decision, but it's gaslighting. It's, um, you know, basically delusion. It's basically sick, depressed, and kind of a crazy brain. Uh, basically doubting your sanity. He basically thought he could do what he wanted. It's a very wishful thinking of emotional decisions, but it's totally gaslighting. It's future faking. Um, it's basically destroyed self-confidence. He felt cut down. Uh, so he decided to go into fantasy land. This is kind of going to fantasy land. It's like him picking and choosing off a of Craigslist. Ooh, who can I get? Who can I get? Because I have an attachment disorder. So that with this attachment disorder, this future faking and this, um, hallucinate, hallucinating of options and kind of doubting his sanity kind of card. Uh, this kind of was a sense of relief. That's definitely relief that is finding it probably brought him back to feeling alive again in a very sick, twisted way. And going into the future we have here. Yeah, it made him feel whole. It made him feel happy. It gave him some sense of inner peace. Now he's getting a lot of attention for what he did. He's getting a lot of attention. He's feeling like I'm famous now. I'm famous. Look at me. I'm famous. This is why he's looking forward to court. He gets to glow up in court. To him, that's glowing up. Yeah. If to him, it's not infamy. It's, it's, I'm famous now. Uh, a lot of them don't mind getting that attention. I think that's why he kept Googling over 200 times why they, he hadn't been arrested yet. He was hoping to be arrested. He, in some, in some um, disassociated, kind of sick way, he, he basically was wishing for it. He really was. Hidden energy here. He thought he was a real pro at what he was doing with the three of pentacles his efforts bringing rewards he thought he had the technical knowledge he used his job to get the women i'm a professional i'm a highly skilled professional you can hook up with me uh and that's how that is so highly professional past position that didn't serve and i'm going to get the challenge because i forgot to get the challenge here i'm just going to pull that separately i could actually well technically what this should be here there uh this should go here this should go here here 
and here there we go okay that's the way it should go so technically he's focused on being the star challenge was getting options having options he was a professional problem also is getting a professional represent him so he can get his duper's delight and his wish come true which would be putting him in where he wants but he also likes to view himself to the outside world as a professional which he is he's an architect for christ's sake uh, the past position that didn't serve was uh, basically looking like a traitor. Uh, this is the hangman in reverse. He didn't want people to see him as a traitor, that he basically cannot step back and say no to his problems. Uh, this here is, a, you know, basically he's self-focused. He will not change. He's going to play the victim. He's a traitor of people, and he fears commitment. He doesn't like commitment. So here, this is surrendering and having a shift of perception and taking on new perspectives and sacrificing yourself for your family and other people and getting along and letting go of, you know, of belief systems, really tightly held, harsh, you know, belief systems that aren't serving you. You're able to let it go with the upright. This is someone who can totally let go of bad feelings. He couldn't let go of his dark thoughts, his dark feelings. He just couldn't do it. He couldn't accept new things and go with the flow. So he's very, um, uh, very rigid, very rigid in his mindset, very selfish, rigid, very self-focused, rigid. He knew people would say no to him if they knew what he was. So this is getting a look behind the curtain, which is what the family had to do because they had a hard time believing it. They had a very hard time believing it and to convince the kids of what he was doing. Uh, they needed some proof and evidence. Uh, that's how hard it was of a pill to swallow. Uh, and with the, subconscious position here is we have here the four of wands upright so happy home happy business this is what basically was driving him he always wanted to keep this going so this was his island of stability for the psychopath keep keep my home base solid keep it looking normal because that's what I'm known for. That's what makes me look good. That's what makes me glow up. That's where people will say yes to me because I'm a professional. You can trust me. But getting that option was a challenge. He had to snag them through burner phones. Didn't want them to know that he, what he was going to do to them, that he could not let go of his dark thoughts. So what did he do? He hooked up. He hooked up with the two of cups. He hooked up. He hooked up. He hooked up, yep, he got him, and he did what he did, and we know it's a lover's card. It's not in reverse, so he was trying to be very warm and inviting and come on in. I'm a professional. You can trust me. Let's have fun. It's just kind of a healing situation here. You know, uh, we, I just want peace and a good time. You know, we have, I have optimism for my future. Nothing's wrong. I've got such a professional job. Don't worry about me. I've got too much to lose. I'm a professional. I, I have a, a bird's eye view of the, of, of the, of my future. I want my future to remain the same. I'm not going to do something bad to you. Oh, but I don't want you to know this. I don't want you to know that I'm gaslighting you and future faking you, making you think that I'm special and to hook up with me. Maybe we can keep hooking up. So there's that promise of hooking up, possibly giving them money, making them feel special, love bombing them, making them feel like maybe that uh, he could be sugar daddy because he's he was older than them. I could be your sugar daddy. And then we have the next position, the outside influences, is the the hermit and excuse me the the uh, the hermit yeah the hermit in reverse that is a reverse you can see that sorry different deck hermit in reverse so he didn't want them to see that he was going to take the light out of them he has a wash and repeat problem and he's never healed his wounds of emotional detachment um traitor selfish energy and the fact he really didn't want people to see what he was doing he was trying to to darken everything and with this position here he doesn't it, it is wash and repeat not gonna take therapy will not do therapy is not learning his lessons in life so this is why he kept going on repeat 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 because they don't learn from their failures uh oh there's my dog moving my camera get out of the way penny there we go so anyway so you know there's no the loyalty Probably not there. No wisdom. A lot of pain, suffering. There's that moon, moon energy of fantasy and meshment. Just like with this here, there's a moon here. Trying to get them to transition to see him because the face represents transition with grace. 
here another transition with grace but i'm in the dark and i'm going to put you in the dark because you don't know what i'm about to do to you let's keep you in the dark and um, i'm going to repeat my problems here and then we have here hoping that um, he can get what he wants which is to to a very negative karma a negative outcome hoping they didn't notice and that they would never find out the light i'm going to hook up i don't want you to know and, and understand and shine the light on what i'm about to do to you because there's no loyalty here uh there's going to be pain and suffering there's that bird there you're going to face some pain and suffering there and um we're gonna i'm gonna send you down uh, a bad path i don't want you to rep to represent this i don't want you to know it it's negative fate a negative turning point it is the end of your journey in essence with the wheel in reverse so he made it look like a hey, new opportunity for you but it turned out to be very very negative very bad fate and so basically they really screwed up uh hooking up with him so very negative outcome and then the final outcome was he paid him he paid him here ace of pentacles upright yeah he promised to pay them that's what he promised he actually promised to pay them uh, it's money mo motivated, focused, a uh, job, uh, progress, promotions, give mo money, gifts, seed of confidence. He was very confident in what he was doing and he promised money. He pro I think he promised to be sort of like a sugar daddy who is a professional man. And we don't have to just hook up this just this once. This might be able to continue if we really enjoy yourself and you give me what I want and I get my satisfaction and my high point, this can continue. This could continue. And then we have here, but it became combative and chaos with this position here, the five of wands, self-sabotage with the ego. So then he started going into sabotage mode. And then they found out that it all went up in smoke and fire. This is the player card. This is the knight, the knight of wands here. So with the knight of wands, basically, it's the end of your journey. He was acting like a hero because the knight of wands is a hero complex upright. Oh, excuse me. That is the, that looks like, no, that's a, that's a knight. It's just different with this deck. It's not on horses with this deck. Problem with changing decks. But it's the knight of wands in reverse. So basically, they lost their way going there. They couldn't go back. All the plans fell apart. The challenge, the chaos started. Everything went up in smoke. They basically lost themselves here with that fire. Uh, everyday life, uh, backs turned to it. Uh, they didn't want an everyday life, these women, and not to punish them because they don't deserve it, but they didn't have an everyday life. Uh, it's the player card. They're players, and basically the plan fell apart and he became very hot headed rage acting like he was going to save them and help them by paying them. But, and it's because he's a bored individual in life. He did it out of boredom. He did it out of boredom with the four of cups. That's boredom. That's boredom in that position there. Just had to do some future faking of thinking they could start something with them. Uh, a little extramarital affair with someone much, much younger, a little sugar daddy energy, but too hot-headed and a very unstable person. Incredibly unstable, very rageful. Uh, anytime you see the wands in reverse, incredibly temperamental. Get out of the way. That fire, that fire wand just really goes off. So it's absolute rage. Uh, a wand in reverse is, is coward energy. It's basically a flat personality. Uh, they were wearing a social mask and then the mask comes off. It's very nasty and mean energy. Um, they're they're bullies. The the want the wands in reverse are all bullies. Highly highly temperamental. Very angry. Um, they've lost their true identity. Tyrant energy. Just dominating energy. Kind of god complex energy. Very coerced energy. Ego maniacal, just very wounded ego energy when you see any wand in reverse. So any wand in reverse, that's the kings, the queens, the pages, the knights, look out, look out. And that's how that is. And then we have here uh, the six of pentacles in reverse. With the six of pentacles in reverse, basically he did not pay them. He, this was a, not a transactional relationship. It was all one-sided. It was extortion. And it was platonic and basically very superficial. The whole connection was not, you give me you give me your body, I pay you. 
it didn't happen. It didn't happen with that six in reverse. So with that six in reverse was self-centered, superficial, and he probably, he was the one in subordination towards the women. They went for a job and their job did not get done and completed the way they expected it. And so then we have this next position here is the Knight of Cups and it's in the reverse position. So actually this is a page. I take that back. This is a page with the page, page of wands in reverse. I got to put this as a page. I'm going to put a little P on that. My goodness. This is why I don't like changing decks. I should put a P on that. Yes, I keep messing up here. That is a page. There we go. Page. Now I won't screw up. So that is a page. And there's the night. So bad news, bad news. Emotional bad news, energetically horrific violence, temperamental rage. Uh, and it wasn't what they thought. They thought, hey, I'm getting a knight in shining armor here. I'm, I'm getting this guy. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. I might have this new lover who's who's going to give me transactional relationships of, of money and this and that. But he became a hothead here. He became a hothead and started it. And basically, they were hoping for peace. You know, like there, if there was any argument or whatever, they could talk him down. This here, you're having an argument and then you could talk him down. There was no talking him down. His ego was on fire and he just had to finish what he was going to do. So that's basically how it is. And basically, we have here also the Ace of Swords upright. And that is basically a surgery breakthrough. People found out. Um, what he was, the truth came out, it's a new conflict, there's a lot of logic and reasoning with the Ace of Swords, a breakthrough truth came in about him, and basically how he cut out people, how he took people out, he sorted people, and now people know the truth, so the truth hurts, and now his family knows, his family knows the truth, the family knows the truth of what happened of this conflict it's a new conflict here for the entire family which created a tower crashing in the worst degree with the tower in reverse a very negative shift they can never rebuild their family because of this this is jumping out of a fiery hot building and never being able to come back uh leaving their home not being able to return probably not living there and it's out of their control they didn't have anything to do with this it's a major life event and it is scorched earth no more beginnings it's a 16 value 16 in reverse since this is upright this is reverse so it's like everybody's jumping ship out of his life um and basically there is no breakthrough no it's in denial there's a bit of a denial there's ex there's oppression trying to rebuild is going to be very very difficult it came to a very shaky end the family came to a very shaky end here that he created because he has sort of envy and hatred and he directed it towards other people. And it's unexpected and suddenly. It is an unexpected and suddenly card, that tower card, especially in reverse. That's like total, total, um, that, that's a complete earthquake to the worst degree. So it's really sad for them. And he strategized it. He strategized it completely, and now he has a lawyer. This is the lawyer card. In reverse, I would say that would be him. It's upright. So this is his lawyer. He's having a lawyer up with the king of swords upright, and the king of swords has had to talk. The lawyers, people of authority, uh, this is someone who has a strong regard for the truth, had to break the horrible news to the family about what he did, how he did this scorched earth energy, promising hooking up with women i'm sure more of this might come out but his victims are gone they're trying to find survivors to see if there was any survivors in the situation and so then the three of cups in reverse now with this here three of cups in re reverse is uh heavy drinking uh a lot of people are talking now the gossip is going uh, it's also a love triangle. So, you know, they really probably thought that something was going to happen. I really think these women thought that they could have a love triangle, knowing he was married, doesn't matter, I can get paid, uh, overindulgence, you know. I don't think he had a lot of friends. He probably liked his booze. He liked to create those love triangles. He liked that platonic energy. He also enjoys people talking to him. That's why he was Googling his name. Why haven't they done this? Why haven't they done that? He's really obsessed with his own case because he wants to hear people talk about him. So that sort of negative feel, I feel. 
and uh, he likes to ask the lawyer, what are they saying about me? What are they saying about me? You know, how bad are they? What are they saying about me? So he likes that negative fuel, that negative thought fuel, as any uh, narcissist, psychopathic type of person would. Positive fuel and negative fuel is both good. Negative fuel is actually more potent. Given that he is into um, bindings and whatnot and sadism, that's going to be far more powerful, potent, and pleasurable for him. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this spread. Dark, dark, dark. Uh, I'll keep up on this case because I think it'll be a good one. So anyways, anybody from New York? Hey, New York. Hi. Safer night for you. You guys are safer now. But you still have, you still have currently, unfortunately, eight still active ones. One's, one's, one's solved. All right, you guys. Take care. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.